Hey footy fans, I can't believe there's just one more round in our home and away season until finals football. How time flies. Let's take a look back on round 22. Friday night, that's where it got started. The Saints, they took on the Lions. Now, the Saints had their finals hopes on the line. They lose 66-81. to 81. Max King, poor night in front of goal. He had five behind. Really painful to watch if you are a Saints supporter. Uh, on the other hand, the Lions remain in the top four. A really nice win on the road, that's for sure. Uh, for the Saints, personally, looking at the schedule for round 23, I would say that's pretty much uh, finals hopes crushed and over. Uh, but, you know, still maybe next season, you never know. Saturday, Dogs, Giants, the Doggies win uh, 62 to 57. They just got over the line. Credit to the Giants for their efforts in this game. They played some really nice, hard football. The Dogs, finals hope still alive. Watch out for those Doggies. They might just slip into the eight uh, in the last round. So that'll be really interesting to see. The Crows, they beat the Roos 103 to 74. The Roos' first three quarters were really good. Uh, they kept it a close, hard contest to footy. But in the fourth quarter, the Crows, uh, way better side in that last term. And the Roos, it felt like they fell asleep and went home. Despite the loss, it was fantastic to see Ben Cunnington back out there on the field. Such an inspirational story. What a legend of our footy world. In other news for North Melbourne... Alistair Clarkson looking really good, maybe in the next week or so, to put pen to paper for the Roos as head coach. But the Bombers are hot on our tail. They're also in the running uh, to maybe get Clarko as coach. I'm really hoping Clarkson does sign with North Melbourne. Uh, it would be great to see him back at Arden Street, back in the shin bonus spirit and back in in uh, the Rue colours. Uh, you never know. I'm, I'm really hoping that happens soon. The Suns, Cats. Uh, it was always going to be a challenge for the Suns. They lose 59 to 119. The Cats are just brilliant uh, this season. An extraordinary side with a lot of depth in their team. They are crowned minor premiers. Congratulations to Chris Scott and his Cats. Um, whether it be players like Tyson Stengel, who score a few goals here and there in the forward line, uh, gets his team going. Max Holmes, his running game off halfback, he can kick goals. Um, I guess just the Cats as a team, they're full of talent, they're full of speed, they're full of uh, fantastic ball movement. They're just a, a great football side. And in finals, it is going to be a challenge to beat them. But um, we could be set uh, for a few thrillers, that's for sure. So I hope, hope to see that. The Demons and Blues talk about thrillers. An electric crowd at the MCG. A fantastic game of football. The Ds win 79-74. to The Blues, their hearts break. The dying stages of the game. The Blues are up. The D's get it back. The pressure, the intensity just lifted a little more. Jake Lever with the unpredictable kick. Hunt got it forward inside 50. Malksham, what a performance he had. He got the handball off and who else but Cozzy Pickett. Cozzy the hero and the D's get over the line. The Blues, they're in eighth spot and they are really struggling um so nerve-wracking times they could slip out of the eight and wouldn't that be um heartbreaking for those blues fans i just wanted to say um you know for the blues they started the season off so well and they they were in the top four, and you had a lot of people and, and fans, and, and everyone was saying, oh, gee, the Blues, they're going to win the flag, or the Blues, they're going to play finals. But now you're looking at it, the Blues have dropped off. The Blues have faced really uh, strong sides, and those sides have just gotten over the line. So, yes, they can put up a great contest, um, but I tell you what, really nerve-wracking times for the club and Michael Voss and his team. Fremantle took on the Eagles. Wowie, what a game. The Western Derby, 71-47. Uh, to Frio get the chocolates and the bragging rights at the end of this one. A nice derby. It had some heat to it, which we love to see. A bit of argy-bargy here and there. And a nice game of footy. On Sunday, the Tigers, uh, with pure dominance, beating the Hawks 128-67. to Tom Lynch had eight goals. And the Tigers, uh, you know... Back in September finals, they're used to it. And uh, looking forward to seeing those Tigers in there. Swans, 
They beat the Pies. What a win by the Swans. 77 to 50. Little reality check, sir, for the Pies. Their 11 game winning streak uh, was snapped. The Swans are in second spot. And have a look at this. The Pies from second, they drop all the way to fifth spot on the ladder. Big change in the ladder there. And uh, the Swan, he's too good at the SCG. Buddy Franklin had some really classy moments in this one. To finish off the round, the Bombers took on Port Adelaide. Gee, I thought it was going to be close. I thought the Bombers would have put up a fight. But they get smacked at Marvel. Port Adelaide, 146 to the Bombers, 62. Uh, Port Adelaide win it pretty much for their coach, Ken Hinckley. Obviously, his position as head coach up in the air. But I felt like this win by Port was a little bit of a, a settler for that. Six players for Port Adelaide with 25-plus disposals. Dan Houston, Ollie Wines, Connor Rosie, Travis Boak, Zach Butters, and Jeremy Finlayson. What a performance by those boys and what a performance by the power. I was really happy in round 22. I got all nine tips correct. Uh, really happy with that. And I'll tell you what I'm also really happy with is Isaac's GMP of the round. Let's get straight into it. My goal of the round. There were a couple here and there which you went, oh, that was really good. But how could you go past it? I mentioned it earlier. Cozzy the hero. Cozzy. Kaiseya Pickett. So clutch. So clutch. When it matters the most, he gets the job done. He is phenomenal. What a goal by Cozzy. He was pretty much, uh, you know, nearly in a tackle. He got out somehow. He always finds himself in the right place at the right time. And what a goal that was. My mark of the round, well, it goes to the magician, Dane Zorko. The one-handed mark. How classy is that? Just a little party trick from Dane Zorko. I loved it. And, uh, you know, he got it in the end. He made it look oh so simple and, and so natural. Well done to Dane Zorko there. And my player of the round goes to uh, a Lions who, in that game uh, who I saw really step up was Cam Rayner. Uh, four goals, 18 disposals. He had four marks, two of those four contested. Uh, one clearance, four inside 50s. And uh, he also had 351 metres gained. He was that spark and that X factor for Brizzy in this game, I felt like, especially in that fourth quarter. Um, I felt like the Saints uh, left him too open at times and left him unattended. They didn't really focus on him. And Cam Rayner punched them, uh, certainly on the scoreboard, with those four goals. Well done to Brizzy on that win. Folks, I can't wait for round 23. The Lions take on the Demons at the Gabba to start it off on Friday night. Uh, what a game it's going to be. I reckon the Ds might just get over the line by eight points. Uh, but Brizzy at home, they're a really strong side. Last round of the home and away season. I'm really excited. And as always, you got to love footy. If you like that recap and you want to see more of my content, remember to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, and hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Much appreciated. For more content, follow me on my Facebook page and also my Instagram page.